So when, when instructors or professors provide feedback to students, I think I think we get into a little bit of a of a routine with it to where it probably feels a little bit monotonous. And so for me, part of the reason why I went, I went to doing video feedback for some of my assignments, and I'll also do audio feedback for some of my student assignments as well, is in part selfishly because I kind of sat there and went, I don't know if I could write this same comment on a rubric again. And it always felt to me like I was a little uh, too impersonal in terms of the, the text-based responses that I was providing back for students. So for me, it was a time wash, like it was relatively similar in terms of the amount of time it took me to record a one minute video, giving some feedback for them on their assignments versus how long it took me to do, you know, kind of write all my comments down on a rubric. But students loved it. And I think they appreciated seeing my face, uh, hearing from me, Alyssa, knowing that I'm not a robot, that, that I'm a human, that, that rapport, that relationship, students knowing that you're their advocate, you're for them, and that you're present and that you're there speaks volumes. So it's worth it to me to kind of step back and go, okay, I might not be perfect on camera during this feedback, but my students are gonna look at me and go, wow, he's, he's taking time to record himself, to provide some personalized feedback for me. So I think we have to get out of our comfort zones a little bit, recognize that it's not gonna be perfect, but also kind of step back and recognize that, that our students want relationships with us, even in online environments.